Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be covering what is an algorithm and what are the characteristics of an algorithm. Guys, I have uploaded complete uh, subject tutorials. I will provide link in description. You can watch from there. Let's get started. An algorithm is a step by step procedure to complete a task is known as algorithm. It is not like you are using algorithms only in computers. You are also using algorithms in your real life. For example, you want to make coffee. What I do is at first in step one, I will take a pan and I will add milk in it. After that in step two, I will switch on the gas stove and in step three, I will add sugar and coffee powder. In step four, I will boil it and at last in step five, my task gets completed. That is my coffee is ready. Here my task is to make coffee. So I followed sequence of steps in order to make coffee. This is known as algorithm and algorithm is step by step procedure for solving problem or to complete a task is known as algorithm. Next you need to know what is meaning of pseudocode. Pseudocode is an informal and artificial language that helps programmers to develop an algorithm. Informal means user friendly language. Artificial language means man made language. Language which is created by human beings is known as artificial language. So, algorithm which is written in English like language is known as pseudocode. Whatever the algorithm that we are writing in English like language is known as pseudocode. There is no proper rule to be followed in order to write an algorithm. So, you can write algorithm as your wish. This is an example. Here I am writing algorithm for addition of two numbers. Step 1. Always step 1 is start because I am starting algorithm and in step 2 I am reading two values after reading two values in step 3 I need to add these two values after adding two values in step 4 I need to store this result in another variable and at last in step 5 I need to print variable that contains result and at last step 6 is stop this is how we need to write algorithm. There is no proper rule that we need to follow in order to write an algorithm. So you can also write this same algorithm like this. Step 1 is start and in step 2 I am reading two values that is A and B. After reading two values A, B I need to add these two values and I need to store this result in another variable C and I need to print this C because it contains result and at last step 6 is stop. This is how we need to write algorithm. There is no rule that you need to write algorithm only like this. You can write algorithm as you wish. Uh, here I written same algorithm like this. Here this is another example. Here I am writing algorithm for average of 3 numbers. Step 1 is start and in step 2 I am reading 3 values. I am assuming values as A, B and C and step 3 is sum a b c that means i am adding a b c values after adding in step 4 divide sum by 3 and in step 5 i am storing result in another variable that is variable d i am storing this result in variable d and in step 6 i am printing variable d because variable d contains result so i am printing variable d in step 6 and in step 7 stop now, or you can also write end program. This is how we need to write algorithms. These are the properties which we need to follow before writing an algorithm. These are the characteristics. You can also say this as characteristics of algorithm. First one is input and output and second one is finiteness. Third one is definiteness. You can also say definiteness as unambiguous. Fourth one is effectiveness and at last fifth one is generality. First one is input and output. Each algorithm must take 0, 1 or more quantities as input and should produce at least one output. For example, in this, in this example algorithm took two quantities as input. An algorithm must take 0, 1 or more quantities. So, input can also be 0. For example, here I am not writing any input. For example, start. Next, directly I am printing C print C and stop. In this I did not took any input. So, here quantity of input is 0. An algorithm must take 0 or 1 or more quantities as input. Input can be 0 that means there is no need of giving input but there must be at least one output. An algorithm should produce at least one output. This is first property and second property is an algorithm should terminate in finite number of steps. 
that means we need to complete algorithm in countable number of steps there should not be any infinite steps in algorithm for example if you see this example in this algorithm was terminated in six steps which are countable one two three four five six so always algorithm must terminate in finite number of steps and there should not be infinite number of steps in algorithm third point is definiteness you can also say definiteness as unambiguous each step of an algorithm must be clear means no ambiguity means whatever the steps that we are writing in an algorithm each and every steps must be clearly understandable there should not be any ambiguity ambiguity mean mistake there should not be any mistake this is known as definiteness for example in previous example i written read a comma b this step is clear because i am reading two values a b but if i written here only read then it will become ambiguous because because what should i read should i read a or which variable so it will become ambiguous step 4 effectiveness effectiveness mean algorithm should contain only necessary steps it should not contain any unnecessary steps this is known as effectiveness and at last fifth one is generality whatever the input that we are giving to algorithm an algorithm should work with our input this is known as generality algorithm should run for any type of input or data these are the five properties or characteristics of algorithm